How's it going everyone, Zero Kimchi here, your source for win later news and more. It's been a while since my last video, sorry to keep you waiting on win later updates. My life's been a hurricane later, it feels like it's trying to turn upside down. Lately I've been playing games and taking some time to relax and recharge. I'm not out of the picture yet. If you'd like to support me, feel free to hit the subscribe button, I really appreciate it. Now let's see what's going on in the win later world. I've been off the radar quite a bit so I feel like I missed a ton of key updates. Not much has changed. Besides from what I remember, Peace Blaster fixing the internal web browser and the internet to fix issues with a rare launcher, which I uh, requested. However, Succubus repository mentions additional fixes and implementations in the change logs, but none seem very game changing. Still, check it out, maybe there's something for you. Let's see what's up with Ajay. A while ago, I briefly caught him working on something. Not his usual prefix mod, but his own file browser called Ajay Dark File Manager. I'm waiting to hear more about this because it sounds interesting. Who knows, it might be a better file manager than the stock one. Moving on with Mr. Frianic Frosty keeps on giving for his audience. Just recently released an update to his Winlater Frost 9 with Root. He says his update is mostly in sync with the latest version 10. Not sure if he means official version 10 or his fork. It's suitable for those who still prefer to use Prude. It is updated to keep Prude up to date with the changes of version 10. Now some good news for Mali users. A new dev with knowledge of Vulcan has appeared from the wilds. Enter Li Gao. As to my understanding, this developer is reverse engineering Vulcan stuff and has modified WinLayer Bionic to include Texture Compression BC emulation, which could help Mali at running games. My, my knowledge of this is very limited as I don't own a Mali device, so I'm less inclined to learn anything about it. <laughs> Sorry! <laughs> However, this is all secondhand information. The changelog also states that this has only been tested on an Adreno 650, which is Snapdragon. If you feel brave enough to test this on Mali, I've put the link in the description below. Be warned however, results will be disappointing from what I've been told. This project is a work in progress. Now as uh, for the official win leader, I've got nothing. Besides some chatter on Bruno's GitHub issues section. People seem to be yearning for Bruno's return. Was he away in the first place? I don't even know. However, some seem to think we just need to wait one more week for something to happen. I guess we'll have to wait and find out. And that's it for catching up to old news. Well, uh, new news for me, old news for you. Here's something new for both of us. Next update for Winlayer Bionic will be smashing. Please take a look at the following footage. That's right, as you can see here, several controllers connected to one device through Bluetooth and working. Next update will include the implementation of local co-op multiplayer support and rumble.
This is currently a work in progress and a lot of quirks still need to be ironed out. These new features also come with the implementation of full universal controller support, the holy grail of controller compatibility, as announced by Coffin Colors on his GitHub repository. It seems to be a lot of work and it's putting a lot of strain on him. Fighting. This means that now you won't have to mess with workarounds like CD, toggles in the settings and other third-party workarounds. Inconsistent controller support in Unity games has always been plaguing me since forever. I complained, complained and pushed the devs to take a look because come on, what's an emulator without proper controller support? Well, the big man himself, Coffin Colors, did it. Oh. And it's not over yet. Peace Blaster announced Steam working on Proton, with the addition of non-Steam games working through Steam as well. Not only that, Steam input will also work without Steam in the background, as long as the game supports it. We also conducted a poll asking what compatibility layer users prefer as the default for Box64 Bionic alongside Proton 9.0, which means users will be able to choose either one of them with more to come in the future. More choice is always better. There have also been some changes with the Box64 presets. Some variables have changed from a toggle to a value, with the addition of the following variables Dynarec Aligned Atomics, Dynarec DF, Dynarec Dirty, Dynarec Native Flags. Not sure what these all do, but I will investigate and report on another video when I got more time. Some of these already existed, but you had to add them yourself. Furthermore, in the container settings on latest Bionic WinLayer forks, you can now select a compat layer, but keep in mind, each uses a different emulator. Try to follow, right? Because this one's a doozy. Proton ARM64 EC uses FexCore for 64-bit games and 32-bit games. You could choose Box64 for 32-bit games in the emulator drop-down settings. However, it's reportedly broken. Proton X64 uses Box64 for 64-bit games, but also for 32-bit games, which is why the emulator drop-down box is disabled. It will be confusing, I know. Furthermore, Turnip has been removed and now only the wrapper driver remains, which can be set to System, a Qualcomm driver, or an Adreno Tools Turnip driver. There is now an additional setting called DDraw Glide Wrapper, which can be set to CNC DDraw, DG Voodoo, DD729, and Wine D3D. These are specifically for older games. We also now have a 32 bit emulator section, like I mentioned earlier, which can be set to Box64 or FexCore. Soon you will be able to choose and install FexCore version and switch to them in the advanced settings. Unfortunately, the release of this build is set for sometime in August. It's a lot of weight, but the devs also has got a lot of work to do. I, however, can't... I can't deal with so much wind, can you? Because we're finally getting somewhere and I can't wait what our awesome developers have got in store for us in the future. And that's it for this video. We got quite a handful of new stuff coming to win later Bionic. Feel free to discuss anything we talked about in the comments below. Make sure to like hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, share this video, disable adblock just for me. <laughs> Thank you for watching. See you next time.